So far in the Node.js, we have covered so many concepts such as Express, MongoDB, Mongoose, making different requests in HTTP and creating the server. And along with that, we have also seen the Express generator for doing the scaffolding things. Now, we are almost ready to create a web API, our first RESTful web API using Node.js. So, in this API, we will create one module which will take care of all the uh, DML, that is the creating a new document, updating, and almost we'll do all the HTTP verbs like get, post, put, delete. And we will do all the things obviously in our MongoDB database. And when we will be done with it, we will test it. Obviously, we are not working with any UI part here. So for testing a particular API, we will use the Postman tool. So let's quickly go on the system and see how we can create the first API in Node.js. In order to create your first RESTful API in Node.js using MongoDB as the database, first of all, you will have to do the scaffolding as you have done earlier in Express Generator. You can see the similar structure right here. Here, I have added one more folder called models in which you can see there is a schema.js which we have created in the mongoose implementation. So you can see a similar thing right here, but obviously I have taken the different structure right here, like product schema in which name and description are the two fields. I have also added the timestamp here, which will add these two fields created at and updated at in your document. And the name of collection is going to be product. And I will export this with the name called products. So this is about the schema. Then after that, you can see inside this routes folder, I have created one more JS file apart from this index and users, which was predefined. I have created my own that is called product router.js. It is very important one here. You can see I have used express mongoose body parser and my schema file which I just created inside the models folder. So all the routing here will be done by this products router and for parsing the request we are using body parser.json because all the communication here will be done in json format itself. Product router dot route you can see there is a slash. Slash means when you are making the request for the products and where we are specifying that. For that, we'll have to come to this app.js where you can find this middleware app.use whenever the request contains something like products, we are redirecting to product router, which we are passing right here. So whenever there's a request for product router, root for the product router, these verbs will be working like get, post and put where this get request will read all the data which is there in the collection post will create a new document in the collection and delete will remove all the documents from a collection so let's find them individually here you can see products dot find as you can see i haven't passed anything so it will return the all the data from the collection if there is an error we are throwing that we know now how to handle that and in case we are getting that, we will say response.json and pass the product. As soon as you will call this response.json, it will automatically set the status code to 200 and application slash json in the mime type. In case you want to create a new data, the post request will be there, which will actually create the new data whatever you will be passing from the client end. So request.body, it will get the data in the JSON format. In case of error, it will throw that. In case it is added successfully in the console that is on the server side, you will get a message product added. And on the client side, first of all, we are reading that ID underscore ID field and we will give a message added product this ID. And in case you want to delete, you will call this delete method right here, which will remove all the data from the collection. As we have not passed any specific ID, so it will simply remove all the data. 
it will happen when you will make a request for the root of products now if in case you want to pass any id for getting the particular product so there is the named parameter right here called pr id that is product id which we have already seen in the express framework example so here it is dot get when you will pass a get request for a particular id only that particular product will be sent and will be shown in the json format put request will be there in order to make the updation so as you can see products dot find by id and update is the method provided by the schema and on that particular id we will make the updation whichever field you will be passing the new data will be taken so doesn't matter whether you are updating the name or description or any other field and after that there is a delete request this delete request will remove the specific data means the particular product only which id you have passed the previous delete method was deleting all the record because nothing was passed here but here it will remove the particular product only and after that i have exported that with the name product router and which i will use here in the app dot js so i have already shown you what we are doing here again the same mongodb connection as we have done earlier in the mongoose implementation and after that you can see this middleware which we have passed so this is how you can create your own api let's start the server now make sure your mongodb instance is running so that you can make the connection and do all the task which you want so let's write npm start which will start the server as you see now it is connected with the database and now in order to test this api let's go through the postman tool so here as you can see i have searched for this postman in chrome i will add it to chrome add app you can easily configure it in your browser and now it is running it is free you can just put your username and password right here and now you are good to use this i will pass a get request http colon double slash localhost 3000 is the default port number when you are working with express generator application and slash products so i will just say send and you see i didn't get anything because obviously there is no data in that collection now to create a new i will pass a post request in the same url let's come to the body say raw and here choose application slash json and now write the json data which you want there are a couple of fields like name and in the field called description smartphones so let's send this data and you see added product this particular id similarly let me add one more data like watch sports watches again say sent and you see one more data got added now if i'll pass a get request with the same url i will get a couple of data so you see it's working fine with get and post surely if you will go for delete it will delete all the data from here but obviously i'm not going to do that because i want to do some more operations for example uh, if i copy this particular id and will pass here only this particular data will be shown because i specifically find this data if i want to update the data first of all i'll have to come to put here in the body i'll do the changes like in the name i will say mobiles and in the description i will say android phones say send and again i will make the request for the data let's choose get request and say send and you see mobile got mobiles and smartphones becomes android phones so this is how you can do several operations from this postman tool from your web api and you are done with the creation of your first api now